How's it going, my friends and viewers? It is time for a knuckle review. <laughs> well, knuckle, I, I say knuckle. What I really mean is, um, yeah, pile of brass review, yes. <laughs> you might be saying, what the heck is that thing? Um, I'm gonna call this uh, a two-finger coupaton because that's, you got basically what is a huge chunk of brass and basically a large stick with a protrusion coming out of your of your uh, hand here, and then two generous areas for your knuckles. Um, this piece comes to me courtesy of ECK, or East Coast Knuckles. Yes, he is operating out of New York, and a real solid dude. He sent this to me for review, and just to get my thoughts on it, and just, uh, I don't know, just an all-around cool guy. So I told him I would shoot a review of this, just to get word out, and kind of say, hey, this is this is something awesome. <laughs> Guys, I I cannot tell you how tickled I am with this piece. I mean, look at that. It's it's solid. This is brass. This isn't steel. This isn't aluminum. This isn't, you know, pot metal. This is brass. It's heavy. Um, I will take the weight here in a minute um, and get the measurements going for you. But yeah, you can just kind of see it's it's fairly straightforward and um, you know, I like this as opposed to, you know, Kind of the the more traditional knuckle designs you know i like them too but i like this because it's it's rather unique you know it's not something you see very often um you know kind of a brass coupaton with with you know kind of an integrated point or, or knuckle designs um they're, they're pretty rare and you know you'll only you only see them once in a while um i like this because you get really thick really thick really thick and heavy um, speaking of heavy, let me let me get the the scale going and get an accurate weight going for you guys, just to kind of give you guys an idea of of the heft I'm talking about here. All right, so let's zero that out. Turn it on. Let it fire up. Boom, zero. Pop him on there. Fourteen and a half ounces. Fourteen and a half ounces. That's an ounce and a half shy of a pound. That is intense. That is really intense. So, you, you know, this thing isn't isn't a lightweight. So some people might say, well, you know, that that's like holding a hammer. And it's it, I say, yeah, it is. It's like it's rather like holding <laughs> a hammerhead or something like that. But you know, with with the Kubaton point like that, and you, you you notice it's pointy, but it's not like a knife blade. It's not gonna you know slice through stuff. But if you grip that in kind of a ham-handed hammer fist, and you put any Kind of uh, motion with that you know any type of organic material dare i say even you know wooden doors and stuff are going to quiver shake and, and splinter um and also let's not forget this here look at this these these holes that you see on this here they're not round holes they're not they're they're oval they're oblong and uh, i will get the measurement here in a minute but you can see the generous amount of daylight there that gives that is very forgiving and gives a lot of uh, grace if you have to use this in a forward motion um, for those of you who don't know, you know, knuckles have been around for a long time. I mean, there's, there's examples going back to the Civil War, there's, there's objects, you know, in India and China and um, Greece and Rome that have been used as kind of knuckle dusters or proto knuckle dusters for a long time. Um, just metal contraptions over the knuckles for, for striking a, a person. They've been around for a very long time and just stuff like this with modern technology and casting techniques and just the the availability of the material to me is really cool um yeah east coast knuckles kind of a kind of a newer uh, newcomer to the scene of uh self-defense products and novelties and, and weaponry and stuff um the guy he's, he's really he's a solid dude he, uh, from what i understand he's got a couple people that uh that cast you know just whatever designs he comes up with or he's he's telling him to he compensates them and then they deliver the goods to him. And as you can see, uh, I hope the video is doing this justice. He did a nice job blackening this brass. So as you can see on the edges and corners though, it just enough of the natural brass color is peeking through. It's quite beautiful. I love it. It is very striking. It'll wear well, I think, just with pocket carry and, you know, holding papers down on my desk. Uh, I joke. But um, yeah, the thing about something like this is... Um, you know, you can go to some of the very artistic makers that are out there, and I'm not exaggerating when I say you can pay upwards of five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a one-off custom piece that is all 
cast beautifully or engraved beautifully and just you know one of a kind it's got a it's got the name of a very famous maker attached to it or whatever um, something like this to me the the beauty of it is its affordability and it's well well made it's well put together it's well thought out um, you know something like this I, I will say and don't don't hold me to it I'm I'm not the guy but I would say around a hundred bucks give or take 20 bucks um, and to me that is just worth it given just given the amount of brass you're getting, you're getting 14 and a half ounces of, you know, cast or sculpted and shaped brass that really, um, if you had to, would pretty much solve any, any, uh, hostile type problems you have up close. Um, again, that being said, you get busted or popped something like this, you're going to get some nice shiny bracelets and get a free ride in a police cruiser. <laughs> so, um, don't be stupid with anything like this. Don't be an idiot. But again, it just, you know, I am just immensely impressed with how with how good this feels. Um, I got the weight. Let me get the other measurements before I forget. We are looking right here on a Craftsman tape measure. We are looking right at, ooh, I want to say five and an eighth inch long from the point to the edge here. And here on this one, we're looking at two and a quarter inches tall. Let's get the holes if we can. It's about an inch and a quarter on the height there. Now again, these are these are not round holes, these are oval. Nothing on the human body is generally perfectly round. Um, oblongs, you know, ovals, ovoids, those are kind of the more ergonomic features of it. So, and then let's finally get the thickness here. This is interesting. I found this really interesting doing this earlier. Um, on the top portion here, kind of over the knuckles, we're looking at a solid half inch of brass, but as we go down to the base here, kind of where the palm swell is, kind of the cubiton portion of it, we're looking at right around 9 sixteenths of an inch. So it gains a little bit, kind of going into the palm swell, which gives you kind of a rock solid platform. It won't want to move this way or that, and you won't have the nasty, um, you know, kind of degloving things that you have with a lot of the cheaper knuckles. So to me, that's really cool. Um, yeah, so if you go to East Coast Knuckles and you see something that you like there, you know, hit them up. These prices, I think, are very reasonable for solid, real brass knuckles and knuckle duster type objects. Um, another thing is that just with how kind of plain these are, if you're at all artistically inclined, you could really, you know, you could do your own type of patina work. You could, you know, take, you could do any type of engraving or embellishment. I mean, even uh, a hammered finish wouldn't be particularly complicated with something like this. It just, the world really is your oyster when you got something, you know, this beefy and massive. I love this, man. This thing is just awesome. Uh, if you give him a look up, he's on Facebook, he's on Instagram, he's got his own website, eastcoastknuckles.com. Uh, let him know I sent you, let him know you saw the video. Just, man, I, I hope if you get these, if you get any of his stuff, you're as pleased with the stuff as I am. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope this was informative. I hope I didn't forget anything important. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.